What's up you guys, it's your boy Zenz, back on the channel with another video. We're going to be doing Pyrex, Whippa, QP's Melodies, make sure both this time. As per usual, I'm going to play the full sample now, so time stands below if you want to skip this. Here's the full loop. <laughs> As complex as the loop sounds, it's actually pretty simple. The first thing I did was the bells. The preset I'm using is from Spitfire Audio's Glock contact library so definitely go check that out um for processing all i did was put a little bit of reverb on there turn the decay down and turn the wet knob down as per usual i always put the downer preset from uh, meta filter on my bells so um i turned the input down pretty low on this because it's a little aggressive and uh the only other thing i usually do with bells to give it a little bit more low end if it's a uh, really high octave which usually is the case with bells um i put a little half time on it from girls beat and then i just turned down to like 35 percent uh, with the time mix so the the bells are still playing uh, at the regular octave but it's just a little bit of low and bottom and um added to it the next thing i did was add the guitar and the bank i used is this bank here um i'm not even gonna try to pronounce that but it's got acoustic nylon and electric guitar in here and I specifically used nylon guitar in this sample so um, here's what it sounds like. So yeah, as you can see, nothing super complicated here. I started it off with the triplets, and I usually do that for all of my uh, dark melodies. And then I just added a top melody to support it. Um, and I just switched up some of the notes towards the second part so it wasn't too stagnant. So for processing, I did a little bit of light EQing, just boost some of the highs and um, added a little bit of reverb from um, Ambience. And then the rest of the reverb came from Vintage Verb. And I usually put the K down and turn the mix down too. And lastly for the guitar, which was probably the most important part, was put the compressor on here. The compressor is only down to 85% and the dry is at 41%. So it's not doing nothing crazy, but it still gives you that nice compressed sound that you want with guitars with dark melodies. Next up was the strings. Okay, so for the strings, I just followed the bass melody of the guitar and I just added slide notes between some of the notes here um, just for some cool transitions and just so I can make the violin sound a little bit more realistic. And I just repeated that on the second part and then I just added a few more slide notes at the end. So for processing for the violin, I just put vintage verb on here, turned it down a little bit um, and I ended up using girls beat and using the sidechain preset to uh, duck it out um, ever so often to keep it on time and to give it a little bit of extra bounce um, and it sounds pretty good when you uh, render it out and pitch it down so okay so next up is the bass okay so as you can see the bass line is pretty simple and I used the Scarby Rickenbacker bass um, and I used the Tweedman preset and I just tweaked some of the settings a little bit nothing too crazy turned the bass down and the bass has no processing on it so okay so last up is the vocals so 
So for the vocals, I used the Ethno World 6 voices and I used the one of the Irene and Licks uh, presets. So for the vocal processing, I just put um, a little bit of reverb on here. Then I put effects rack on here and I used this preset. Um, I think it's in the vocal presets here. Then I did a bit of EQing. I took some of the mid highs out and then um, I took a lot of the low end off because it was already kind of uh, blended in a little bit too much with the bass. And then I put a little bit more reverb on here um, and I turned this one way down too because I wanted the, the vocals to still stand out a lot and not get too tucked in the back of the mix and lastly i put a little bit of gross beat on here and that's the little clicking sound that you hear um, when i was playing the vocals and that's just to keep it on time and you can't really notice it when uh, the whole uh, loop is playing so it doesn't really matter and other than that um, i turned the vocals down quite a bit making sure that it's still not standing out too much and i made it just ever so slightly mono. So yeah, that's it for the individual sounds. Um, for the arrangement, I just let everything play out as per usual, and then I just dropped some of the sounds out. Uh, just for like a verse part, um, I dropped like the vocals out and stuff. I brought some of the bass notes back in, and uh, the rest is just for stems. Okay, so for master processing, I put retro color on. I used the vinyl four preset and i just turned the noise up a lot on this one i kept the distortion pretty much uh the same from this preset and i turned down the dropouts because it makes the the whole sample duck out and it makes it sound really weird so and i put the follow up on this knob here just to make sure that the noise follows the signal of the audio clips so it doesn't uh the vinyl doesn't play um, when there's dead air or dead silence. I turned the width up a little bit and I kept the gain at the same percent. Next thing I did was I just added the live preset from Tangement and turned it down a lot. The next thing I put on here was Wild Control and I put this on like 10%. Um, I'm using this preset and it's usually around like 22% but it's usually way too much. So I knocked that back just a little bit. The last thing I put on here was a compressor. Once again, on the master, just to give it a little bit more of a compressed, crunchy sound. Um, I left most of this normal, except for the compressor and the dry. Dry is at like 40%, and then the compressor is at 51%. So it's not a lot going on, but it gives you still, just ever so slightly, a little bit more compression. And after I bounced it out, the final thing I did was pitch it down 400 semitones. And I did a little bit of extra EQ in, which is this EQ you see here. I just took a little bit of bass out of this and um, took a little bit of the mid highs out. So yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys learned something. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Yeah.